Hi, Adam Martin from Hilton Head Health, fitness director, here for today's Fitness Friday. I've got a couple things to talk to you about. First of all, heart rate monitors. I've brought two in with me. Both are the Polar brand, the one that I like the most. It was really the leader and established uh, the best brand of heart rate monitor in the field. The uh, first one I have here is the FT4. It will calculate not only your heart rate, but also the number of calories you'll burn within a given session. Okay, so that one, if you like a different user interface with multiple buttons and you want it to calculate more factors like average heart rate, average calories burned, uh, it, that you want the FT4. The more basic model, and the one that I have, is the FS2C. This has just one simple button. When you press the button, it will bring up your heart rate the, at that period of time. It will also calculate your average heart rate. So you'll notice right now it has the time of day on the screen. When I hit the button in the middle, it'll take it into an exercise mode. I'd hold it up to my chest. That will automatically start to pick up my heart rate. Now, one thing you've got to make sure you understand is if you're going to monitor your heart rate, you need to know where it should be. And there's two ways that we can come up with a range for where your heart rate should be while exercising. The first method, it's a little older, it takes into account only your age. It's a very simple equation. You could pause the video now if you need to, stop and calculate this for yourself. It's 220 minus your age. That gives you what's called your predicted maximal heart rate. Okay. You take that number, we'll call it P, and you times it by 0 .60 and that will give you the bottom part of your range. In the case of a 50 year old person, this would be 102. Okay. Then you'll take that number P and you'll times it by 0.85 and that'll give you the top number in your range. Again, in the case of a 50 year old person, this would be 145. So remember in my example, this is the 50 year old person. Their range is 102 to 145. However, what you still must pay close attention to is how you feel. The only variable that this equation takes into account is your age. And there's lots of different fitness levels within each age category. So make sure that if you come up with a range and you fall below or above it, that you're still paying close attention to how you feel. The second method is actually a little bit more accurate. And I'm going to direct you to a link that's just below this video. When you click on that link, it will bring up a calculator for you where you'll put in your age and your resting heart rate. Because it's taking into account your resting heart rate, it's also factoring in your fitness level. So that's a more accurate and what we'll call the gold standard in heart rate ranges. Now the best thing to do before you click that link is to make sure that you understand your resting heart rate. We're going to take a 15 second count of the number of beats in that 15 seconds and then we'll times it by 4. So I've got my clock here. Um, let's do it together. We'll start in five seconds. If you need to, pause the video. Remember that you can find your pulse up here on your carotid or on the radial right there on your wrist. We'll start in three, two, one. Good. Okay, stop. Write that number down. Take your calculator out. Times that number by four, and you'll come up with your resting heart rate in the number of beats per minute. You'll need that number for the formula that's in the link below. I hope you guys have a great day. Click that link for the Carvonin method. You'll have a more accurate heart rate range. Remember, the goal is to stay as high as possible in that heart rate range to get the greatest cardiovascular output and see improvements over time. Things like decreases in your resting heart rate and increases in what's called your VO2 max, the efficiency of your cardiovascular system. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.